Today I'm going to review a shampoo's new program, Slideshow uh, Studio 4HD. So this is uh, new from October 2016, um, and so when we load that up, this is what you first see. So if if anybody's uh, used the slideshows uh, from a shampoo in the past, they'll probably be familiar with quite a bit of this. Anyway. There are a few things that's changed. Uh, I haven't used the the recent one, the the one that brought out before this one, but I have in the past used others. Anyway, we'll try from a uh, new simple project. So we'll just do that, and we'll uh, there's a, there's like things here um, if you're interested in them. But I want to start off with no theme, and just click next, and. You can have something adapt to music, uh, adapt to time, which is that you can have from 30 seconds to 15 minutes, or you can do it manually um, or freestyle. And this is what I'm going to do here. So, very easy and simple user interface, and it's quite an easy program to use uh, once you get the hang of it. Uh, so, it's got here from transitions here in the Ken Burns one. So, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Go right to the bottom and say none. And also on this, I'm going to go no effect. And I'm just going to put in next there. So adding pictures, I've got a, a, a folder that I want uh, one putting in. And these are just a few websites that I've done. Um, so it's just because the the photographs or the screenshots, should I say, is very similar size. And I would, I would advise if you're going to use uh, screen um slideshow to have similar size pictures because then uh, then they all uh, work well work better that way anyway you just press ok and then you go to next again and then you finish and this is what you see so you can i'll just plus this here so i can see what i'm doing really um with this we just set it away um Start recording. This this means um, I'll go around the inter user interface now. Um, you can record your own voice, uh, for example, if you want to narrate something. Um, this here, over here, is picture information. It's credits. So, for example, if you want credits at the beginning or the end of your um, your slideshow, and this is this is what you would see. Um, I don't particularly want want to do that for me, but and the other one is transitions and music. So transitions and music is, is something that obviously, uh, certainly transitions is something that you're definitely going to need. Up here, um, it's got theme. Um, and you can actually download more things from a shampoo. It's got logos, uh, it's subtitles. It's got... Uh, music effect category so you've got uh, things like church bells ringing bicycles ringing birds chirping and all this uh, stuff you can also have ones that for me are a bit better um things like forest ambience which is uh, which is nice you've got things like glass break and they're all very effective for very short um short three second things apart from forest ambience and one or two others um and the other thing on this again is you can also um, record record yourself so anyway if we um all those things are this file edit insert element view settings and they're just basically uh loading project editing and the usuals um insert which is basically you have this here on the side new text um, new image new shape and you can also um, make the photograph go like that which you don't want to do in this instance and then things that's very uh, familiar with a lot of computer users if you if you know your computer and zooming in like that or you can go um, back out and here is a, a very i like to say this a bit bigger actually but this is edit so you can edit one photograph or one slide at the time and um and you can do that 
by display duration its default is at 3.5 seconds um, you can do whatever you want with that okay so if um, if I just play this um, and there'll be no effects at all on this one so there you go so in its I've done that on purpose so there's not there's no transitional effect just uh, just a boring slideshow really so here we're gonna go into transitions and the duration because I've turned it all down and I'm going to just put that uh, one second and transition um, I'm going to put this is something like bubble oops take this is a take the random transition take that off and then you could see things uh, I'm going to go for bubble which is just basically a random thing I've picked and there's uh, there's loads of these transitions curtains closed diamonds fade fall left right flips uh, fly open flap uh, reverse swirl rotate and in a billion more it looks like um, so we're just gonna put that in so what it is it's just bubbles and we'll go there so we, we do this and I have a feeling that this is not going to work yeah so it hasn't worked and the reason I thought this was a bug at first if I'm honest but it's not it's uh, something here where apply to all slides and transitions except modified so we just put all slides a tick in the one the checkbox thing there all slides and transitions so I'll go to OK okay right so now we'll play this and this should work yeah so what what there is as I, I thought it was a, a bug it's not it's me um, as I said I've never I've never used the slideshow from a shampoo for a while but um, this is uh, this is a really great thing if you want to put music in um, if you wanted a music effect all it does is like say if you want a firework pop that in and, you, and it, it just goes on the timeline I'm just my mouse is freezing there there you go so there's your your firework so that would look, seem like uh, something like this there you go there's your firework and all that type of stuff so we just um, can just delete that and put in the way you put in music is just go to here and you just pop some music in is as I say it's it is quite easy it it's uh, it, if you've used the, the any any slideshow maker really it, it should be quite simple thing anyway I've just gone into me um, music folder and I'll just pick anything at random in transpire scopes um, and that usually goes quite quickly I've, I've noticed uh, to load so all in all it's a, a very nice user interface simple as anything to use um, and yeah it's it's really good so here we have right this is the the video now so this is what it uh, looks like and sounds like and I've probably spent very little time on that and there's there's all sorts of things if uh, if, if you like the themes there's, there's things like romantic things and um, this type of thing and there's all sorts of you can download more themes and get more stuff from a shampoo and I think they've made a really good job on this it's it's uh, with a shampoo it's the best thing to do is to try the programs out and the you the usually oh, in fact they always knock a lot of money off of the things and so what you get them with a shampoo is good quality product at a budget price and it works and and I use I use a shampoo all the time every day uh, there's always some program that I'm that I, I use and it is it's, it's very good so yeah so that's um, he, he is uh, if you just go into all categories 
romance and so you'll have stuff for that and uh, music fell and um, bells ringing of course uh what else um subtitles and something like what travel and i don't know if you'd have to download that thing i haven't uh haven't gone into the the themes too much because it's it's not something that i'm particularly interested in myself but but for anybody that is that they're all there anyway to produce the slideshow is there's uh, you can create the file, you can burn it to disk, create for a device, create for video portal. Uh, the create for device is all these things that, you know, we see all the time now. There's uh, Apple, Sony, Android and Microsoft phones. Um, and I use a Microsoft phone and an Android and uh, I know the work on there perfectly. Um, and all these things, iPads, iPhones, uh, Apple TV, and everything. And if you just go back uh, for something like create a video portal, you can just put this on YouTube and uh, it'll do that, or Facebook, um, or whatever. And then on here, you've got your 1080p um, HD quality, uh, your TVs, mobiles, and everything really. So there's, I think this is... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is a new thing that our shampoos put in because they realise that people don't just have YouTube and that they have mobile phones. Everybody's got these smartphones. Uh, and create file. Normally, I would create a file in MP4 format, and that's because it'll go up on YouTube. And so this uh, video will go up on YouTube as well. Uh, so any questions um, on this? I probably have not covered everything that people would like to ask but uh, just get in touch and um, it is uh, it's a really good program and if you're in the, in the market for a slideshow program you could do worse than this and it's uh, it's it's good and it'll be at a budget price so thanks for watching and thanks for listening